What's going on guys and welcome to the video. If this is your first time here and you're into Mopars, cars in general, buses converted into toy haulers, motorcycles that are chilling in that garage over there, then definitely make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Today, about 22 degrees in New Jersey where I'm at and we got a pretty big snowstorm heading our way. Kind of quiet though. It's nice out. We are hopping in the Challenger and we're going to my buddy Dave's house. He's got a nice three car garage at his house with a lift inside. And we're gonna change the oil on this. And Scooter is stopping by and we're gonna change the oil on his Jeep SRT as well. We're going to Dave's house because it's 22 degrees with a snowstorm coming. And um, I haven't really looked under the Challenger in detail yet since I've got it. We're gonna head out there and I'm gonna take you guys with Just got to my buddy Dave's house. We're gonna bang out two oil changes real quick. Scooter's about to pull in the Jeep. We got Dave's third gen F body. The shop with the lift. It's about to get started. The flurry's just started. I'm a guide Scooter in here here and we'll get going. All right, so we got the big girl in the lift. We got the big guy underneath. About to get the oil changed on this thing. Might go live on TikTok while he's doing that. And then we'll pull the Challenger in and give my girl an oil change. Shout out to Dave. Yeah, we could be doing this at home, but it's snowing outside right now. It's 22 degrees and having a lift is money, even if you can't fit under it because you're too tall and your vehicle's too tall. The Cherokee is nice because it has this little service port right here where you don't have to take off this bottom plastic skid plate. On my car, you're gonna see I have to remove that whole plastic skid plate. No big deal, we'll get her done. All right, so we got the Jeep's oil change done. We got the Challenger up on the lift. Actually, my first time getting up under the car. So it'll be nice to check it out for a minute. So anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and give this old girl an oil change real quick. I'll try to get some of it on film for you. So we're gonna take out that plastic skid plate. We're gonna be able to get to the drain plug, which is a 13 mil and the, the filter there. Um, and it's pretty straightforward oil change. I'm not sure how much I'll show you. Let's get to it. So we got out the four pop rivets that are here, 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 and there. And then there's four 10 millimeter bolts that are actually numbered under here. Right there, right there, there, and there. That last one is just hand tight, so we're gonna loosen that real quick. And then this whole plastic skid plate is gonna pop off and we'll be able to see the filter and the drain plug. So with that panel removed, we can clearly get to everything that we need for today. We got the oil filter right there. We got the drain plug bolt right there. So we're gonna go ahead and put a 13 millimeter on there, drain the oil out of this bag girl and get her filled back up. All right, so 13 mil came out, drain the oil, about to hit the filter next. Oil's been drained, filter is swapped. Gonna put that pe plastic panel back on, get this thing down on the ground and fill it back up. Give you guys a quick tour underneath. We got the little catalytic converters. And as you can see, this was a Texas car, so not a lot of rust to speak of. And then we have the Flowmaster mufflers. Yes, I know I'm running Flowmaster, but it sounds friggin' great. And then straight out the back. So it's not straight piped, but there's not a whole lot going on. Got the Brembo's, we got the Bilsteins, stock springs, hopefully pretty soon. I'm gonna lower it, except for the fact that I could barely get it on this lift today. So we'll have to think about that. down. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with oil. Going to drain the catch can and then get this baby outside. All right, so we got the oil filled back up. We're gonna let it sit there. Uh, we ran the car for a second. We're gonna let it drain back down so we can check the oil again. And I'm gonna go ahead and drain the catch can that was installed like maybe three weeks ago and we'll see how much it collected already. And there is a good about in there. A couple ounces, nothing crazy. Just remember all that would be back in the intake or into the intake, excuse me, without the catch can. All right, let's see what we got. And so still almost a quart low. Got my uh, friendly neighborhood redhead, put the filter back in, and then we're gonna add some more oil. Filter or the funnel? Yeah, he put the funnel back in. Maybe the filter. <laughs> All right, so there we go. We got Scooter outside, just making sure his oil catch can is empty because he forgot to check that. Dave just went ahead and pulled the Challenger out and we're all done. So that's everything we had planned for today. We got the oils changed on the Mopars. We got snow falling. Dave's about to bring the F-Body in and I think that about does it for the video. So I know it wasn't too technical of a like bolt by bolt how to on how to change the oil, but I imagine most of you guys know how to change oil by now. And as you can see, it was pretty straightforward on both those cars. But if you have any questions about how to do it, if you have any questions about the catch can, what oil to use, anything like that, uh, just drop a comment down below. Guys, if this is your first time checking out the channel, please consider subscribing if you're into anything like supercharged Jeeps, Mopars, F-bodies, 
the motorcycles, any of the stuff you've seen, the bus turned into a toy hauler, then please think about subscribing to the channel. It costs you nothing and means the world to me. It helps me out more than you guys know. Um, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you guys at the next video. <laughs> Mullet mobile!